What's up guys, my name is Karol and welcome to Ads Course, place where you can learn the best digital marketing practices and web analytics tricks. In just a few minutes you will learn how to quickly implement video tracking on your website. Thanks to that you will be able to analyze how users interact with your videos. If you want to watch more tutorials like that, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Okay, I'm gonna show you two different solutions. The first one will be for YouTube embed videos and the second one will be for Vimeo embed videos. So let's start with the first one. I have this website over here where I have my videos and it's a YouTube embed video in this example. And I want to be able to see how people interact with my videos, how often do they play them or how much content do they watch, etc. And I have a lot of videos on this website, so I want to see the data about all of them separately. So to be able to track this with Google Analytics using Google Tag Manager, just follow these simple steps. Firstly, go to your variables section over here and here you have your built-in variables. Click on configure and scroll down until you see the videos variables and make sure that you have all the variables selected. After that, you may close this and then go to your tags and create a new tag. You may name this tag to be a Google Analytics event YouTube video tag. Now click on this tag configuration box and click Google Analytics. Now select the track type to event. And now you want to name your event category, event action and event label. And you may do this differently than I do. It all depends on your needs. This will just be an example that I think works the best. So in category, just name your event category like video or YouTube video. And in action, select a variables that we just selected. So I will use video status and after that I will select another one, video percent. Okay. And in label select video title and after that another one, video URL. Like I said, you can select other variables in here. This is just an example. After that, just select your Google Analytics settings variable ID. If you don't have one, just create it in here. This will be your Google Analytics ID. Okay, so now we need to create our trigger. So click on this box and create a new trigger. Name your trigger. And click this trigger configuration box and select a YouTube video trigger. And make sure to select this pause seeking and buffering and progress option. With this option selected, you will be able to track how much video content people watch in your videos in percentages. So just put these percentages in here, like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Something like this. And here you're able to decide, do you want to fire this tag on selected videos or all videos? If you select this option over here, you can select a page URL and track only selected videos. But I suggest to leave this all videos option so you'll be able to track all videos on your website. And after that, just click save and here save again. And you just created your tag. So you could hit the preview button and preview your changes or submit button to publish them over here and after this when you go to your google analytics behavior events top events section you will be able to see this data after google analytics will collect it okay so now i will show you how to tag your vimeo embed videos and this looks differently because you need to import a file with all the settings so go to the admin on your Google Tag Manager account and here you have this import container option and you need to choose a file. I will post a link to it in the description of this video. Okay, and here you have an option to choose a workspace. Do you want to create a new one or existing one? I will go with existing one, the default workspace. And here's an important thing because if you leave this option override, all of your tags on your account will be deleted and you don't want that to happen. So make sure to select this one, merge over here and you could leave this override conflicting tags, triggers and variables option. And with this, you could see that none of your tags, triggers or variables will be deleted. So make sure to select this merge option and just click confirm. And as you can see here, we have a new tag 
we have new variables and we have another tag in here. So these are all the settings that you need for a Vimeo embed video. And after that, you just click submit button or a preview if you want to preview your changes. And this is how it works. Okay, so now you're ready to implement this on your website video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment under this video. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to learn more about digital marketing. Thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one.